In the middle of an electrical diagnosis and you suspect the control module needs replacing, have you checked that all the power and ground supplies are okay? Or are you willing to take an expensive risk? Hi, I'm Clint with Automate Training. Check out our latest module, where I'll show you a way to thoroughly test and confirm the integrity of control module power and ground circuits. Here's a quick teaser of what you'll learn. We can do the same with the control module, except we need to remove the module and perform invasive testing to the connectors in order to access the circuits involved. Control modules often have multiple supply feeds and ground connections. Some may be hot when the key is off or when the ignition or accessories are turned on. This process can be a time consuming and complex operation at best. But let me show you an easier way to check these circuits. We still need to identify the supply and ground terminals at the module connector. This information can be found in a reputable service information system. Some of these suppliers even provide connector pinout diagrams, which identify what each terminal is assigned to. To find out more and access the most advanced technical training available, visit our website and unlock your automotive potential today.